back at home in the United States, the newspapers are saying that I came here today to speak to about 5,000 Nazis. And tomorrow, they're going to report that yes, I was here and that I spoke to maybe three to 5,000 Nazis. But I look at this crowd and I see the opposite of Nazism. I see people who love democracy, people who want open government, people who want leaders that are not gonna lie to them, people who are not leaders who will not make up arbitrary rules and regulations to orchestrate obedience of the population. We want health officials who don't have financial entanglements with the pharmaceutical industry who are working for us and not Big Pharma. We want officials who care about our children's health and not about pharmaceutical profits or government control. I look at this crowd, I see all the flags of Europe. I see people of every color. I see people from every nation every religion, all caring about human dignity, about children's health, about political freedom. This is the opposite of Nazism. Oh, Go governments love pandemics. They love pandemics for the same reason they love war, because it gives them the ability to impose controls on the population that the population would otherwise never accept. To create institutions and mechanisms for orchestrating and imposing obedience. Now I'll tell you something, it's a mystery to me that all of these big important people like Bill Gates and Tony Fauci have been planning and thinking about this pandemic for decades. Planning it so that we would all be safe when the pandemic finally came. And yet, now that it's here, they don't seem to know what they're talking about. They seem, they seem to be making it up as they go along. They're inventing numbers. They, don't, they cannot tell you what the case fatality rate for COVID is. That's basic. They cannot give us a PCR test that actually works. They don't have, they have to change the definition of COVID on the death certificates constantly to make it look more and more dangerous. The one thing that they're good at is pumping up fear. 75 years ago, Herman Gehring testified at the Nuremberg trials. And he was asked, how did you make the German people go along with all this? And he said, it's an easy thing. It's not anything to do with Nazism. It has to do with human nature. You can do this in a Nazi regime. You can do it in a socialist regime. You can do it in a communist regime. Yeah. You can do it in a monarchy and a democracy. The only thing a government needs to make people into slaves is fear. And if you can figure out something to make them scared, you can get them to do anything that you want. 50 years ago, my uncle John Kennedy came to this city. He came here to Berlin because Berlin was the front line against global totalitarianism. And today again, Berlin is the front line against global totalitarianism. My uncle came here, he proudly said to the people of Germany, each be not Berliner. And today, all of us who are here today can proudly say once again, each be not Berliner. And we all today can stolz say, ich bin ein Berliner. Because you are the front line against totalitarianism. And we are wieder die front gegen I'm going to say one more thing. They haven't gone and done a very good job about protecting public health, but they've done a very good job 
at using the quarantine to bring 5G into all of our communities and to shift us all, to begin the process of shifting us all to a digital currency, which is the beginning of slavery. Because if they control your bank account, they control your behavior. And we all see these advertisements on television saying 5G is coming to your community. It's going to be a great thing for all of you. It's going to change your lives. It's going to make all of your lives so much better. And it's very convincing, I have to say. Because I look at those ads and I think, that's great. I can hardly wait till it gets here. And then, because I'm going to be able to download a video game in six seconds instead of 16 seconds. And is that why they're spending $5 trillion on 5G? No. The reason is for surveillance and data harvesting. It's not for you and me. It's for Bill Gates. It's for Jeffrey Zuckerberg. And it's for Bezos and all of the other billionaires. Bill Gates says that his satellite, that his satellite fleet will be able to look at every square inch of the planet 24 hours a day. But that's only the beginning. He also will be able to follow you on all of your smart devices through biometric facial recognition, through your GPS. You think that Alexis is working for you. No! She isn't working for you. She's working for Bill Gates no. spying on you. And the the pandemic is a crisis of convenience for the elites who are dictating these policies. It gives them the ability to obliterate the middle class, to destroy the institutions of democracy, to shift all of our wealth from all of us to a handful of billionaires to make themselves rich by impoverishing the rest of us. And the only thing between them and our children is this crowd that has come to Berlin. We're telling them today, you are not going to take away our freedom. You are not going to poison our children. We are going to demand our democracy back. Thank you all very much for fighting.